Hi everyone, this is the recording for the home base meetup for September 2022 for Go Open NC. Um, if you're watching this recording, the link to the slides um, is here on the screen, but it's also linked in the video description below. Um, so we don't have a whole lot in uh, as far as Go Open uh, updates, but I did want to few, share a few things with you all. Um, just as a reminder, if I know we've talked about this um, back in July, that we are going to be updating to version 2.5. Um, this is not a version update that's going to impact the user interface. So um, you and your PSU users won't see any changes to go open on the um, surface, but this is all changing some core code underneath and how we work in the back end of the system. Um, with that being said, it's also going to impact the LTI. So if you are a um, PSU that leverages Canvas or uh, any other LMS that has an LTI connection to go open, that will need to be updated. Um, so essentially it's going to require us to install the, a new update inside of your LMS. Um, the easiest way to do that is to schedule some time with me via, we can talk email, set up a Teams or a Google Meet or whatever works best for you. Um, so that we can schedule that. Essentially, I have to uh, create a developer key in your LMS. You share that information with me, and then we set that up into Go Open as an LTI, and then I send you the LTI key. Um, so it's just a little bit more complicated than doing that uh, as you know over email. So scheduling some time um, with me is probably the easiest way to do that. Some of the long-term plans that we talk about for Go Open. Um, one of the things that we've done in, in gathering some research and feedback from PSUs about Go Open is that, um, you know, some of the resources are hard to find, and when you do find resources, they might not necessarily be high quality. So, in a way that we're trying to address that is working with PSUs on the subject of endorsements. Um, if you don't know what endorsements are, they are linked here. Um, but essentially, when I open up this uh, user guide, this kind of talks about through this is a resource inside of Go Open, and you can kind of see that there are no endorsements assigned to it. And then those endorsements can be assigned. Um, so, this was something that we would do on the administrative side, uh, or it could be assigned to you as an administrator for your PSU. And then we can create an endorsement for your PSU. Um, it could be your logo, it could be some kind of uh, graphic that you've all created to indicate that that resource. Um, has been reviewed and approved by your PSU for utilization. And so uh, what we're wanting to do is partner with some PSU. So if you're interested in that, please reach out to me um, to develop some of these endorsements so that essentially we would work with a team of reviewers in your PSU. You would review a set of resources and then uh, deem them as endorsed by your PSU. Um, so that's trying to build some validity and some high quality um, tagging into some of these resources so you can kind of see what that would look like. Um, also we want to do some redesigning of the home page so these are changes to the user interface that we would like to do to make it a little bit more uh, user friendly you know go open hasn't been updated since its inception so that's around the 2015 era so going on seven years of its current look and feel um, so it's time for uh, you know some work to be done there and then um, um, and, and that would promote hubs. We would really want to center around hubs and you know, also those endorsements would come in partnership with that. So those would be features that we would highlight on the homepage so that users could quickly access that. Um, I've also had some desire to put some um, quick reference buttons on the homepage for subject areas so that teachers could easily uh, define a search based on their uh, predominant uh, subject area. So like the core four areas, uh, maybe a few others. Um, but these are just kind of things we're just still playing around with as a draft conversation. And then we also want to um, want to contract with some reviewers to review content and revamp lower quality resources inside of the OER that may have the potential to become higher quality resources. Um, and so um, that kind of gets into what we did at the home base meetup. So we did look at some resources. Um, so uh, if you are not familiar with reviewing resources, I would highly recommend checking this out um, using the quality rubric to review a resource. So that's kind of the activity that we did at the home base meetup. And then we kind of reflected on that and then had some conversations around the rubric and what we thought, um, you know, if there were any revisions that needed to be done to that. So feel free to reach out to me if you have feedback on any of that. I mean, how you can do that, of course, is obviously always reaching out to me via email. Uh, or my, my phone number. And then, of course, um, 
you know, know that you have access to support resources inside of our DPI Canvas instance for Go Open. There's obviously the Go Open help articles, and there's one link there about how to create a resource. So, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to me or uh, or anyone else here on the DTL team if we can support you in any way with Go Open. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and let me know. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.